This is your basic 45 EY2 RCA Victor amplifier. Uh, typical three tube design, uh, rectifier tube, output tube, and preamp tube. What I want to do with one of these amps, I've always wanted to do this, is to do an extreme makeover on it and make it into a high fidelity amplifier. And uh, this is just as it was removed from the machine. This is exactly the way it comes out of the record player. Original everything. What we're going to do, I have a shell here that I've basically stripped to nothing. There's nothing left except the label and one tube socket. What's going to happen on this thing? I'm going to take and use the original output transformer. There's going to be an output transformer here mounted the same place that the original one was and these two holes here. But there's going to be another one added to the bottom of it. So there's going to be one on the bo one on the bottom and one on the top back to back just to save space and to have it look original. Next thing that's going to happen is the original uh, input tube which was the 12 AV6 that's gone now. That's going to be a going to be replaced with a 9 pin tube socket and that's going to be a 12 AX7. Then the uh, tube socket where the 35W4 used to be is now going to be another 50C5. So we're going to have a 50C5 here and a 50C5 here, your output transformer here, and they're going to be wired for push-pull configuration. The two identical output transformers are going to be wired in series so that it'll work as a push-pull circuit. And it's going to have the components added to make it high fidelity, which is not much, it's just you know, tweaking some capacitor and resistor values. It will have its original volume control, which, uh, let's see, there's so few parts left. Oh, yeah, the original volume control is going to mount here. I'm going to retain that because it has loudness compensation built into it, and uh, I like the network and the equalizing of it. For our cartridge, we're going to use an Electro Voice Zenith high fidelity cartridge, like the Micro Touch 2G Tone Arm Changer uses. It has a frequency response of 30 to 18,000 cycles, probably the best you can get. And I'm going to put that in the arm, and that's going to be our cartridge. Uh, as far as the speaker goes, I've already checked for clearances, and this, the original speaker will be retained. The original speaker is going to be retained, but there's going to be a tweeter put right across here. There's going to be a small tweeter put right in the middle here and suspended by a small thin bracket so it doesn't uh, compromise the bass, but it adds treble. And uh, this is going to be a fun project, and I think it's going to work. And at worst case scenario, if my output transformer thoughts don't work, where I can't use two in parallel, I'll put in a new push-pull transformer. But my idea is to use original transformers because I have so many of them. And this, the idea of this is to do it on the cheap, as, uh, as cheaply as I can do it, and have it come out as good as possible. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. I don't know how long this project is going to take because I've got other things I have to do, but uh, this is uh, one that I really want to do and see, uh, just see how good I can get it. And uh, so stay tuned.